the Food Channel 347 Runny Meat Eviction Special Notice from. And before I start, can you see the flames in my eyes? Oh, look at this. This is what I'm doing right now. And this is what happens. Just blew out. And it um, landed, me on, landed on me about a minute ago. Uh, oof. No, I'm I was going to go out in the meadow, but I'm not here. But I'm going to do this, right? Right from the off today. Because I've been, you know, sometimes you have to stand up for things you believe in. And today is the day. And to be quite honest, you know, for all the occasions that something could have been different, there have been many and none showed up. So I don't give a shit about what the consequences of this might be. But I'm standing up. And I'm going to say here, right now, cabal. The word cabal. And I'm also going to say... Um, in a constabulary, Ronnie Mead eviction special. In a constabulary, that means that for those who live, um, them, for those who live here, there is a cabal that's been here right from the start, and it's fully controlled from the offset of everything that began here, and it's still in control. It's not on the surface because anyone who knows this place, we've had what we call, or what we have called, um, an anarchic system here, which is basically, you know, you can say it's another way of saying sovereign rights, actually. In other words, each individual is unique and they've got their own rights and freedoms to say what they like and live according to what their beliefs are. Everybody. That's how we sit on the surface of things. Okay, so today I was I kind of annoyed enough you know, this morning was amazing because I met these two guys with um, someone I've been talking to for a while who's an inventor. And he invents and he's, what he's into is uh, alternative energy. And he's made something from the past, which uh, I, I'm not quite sure about the mechanics of it quite. But it's a um, balancing system that works on perpetual motion. And he's got the mathematics. And he's got it on paper because he carries it with him because he wants to work on it. And... Um, if this place stays, then he's going to be up here working on it, very simply. And another guy, he's one of his friends, and both of those guys are deep into the Mason story. So they are come from this deeply Masonic pattern. Both guys have been abused when they were really young. Uh, one from about the age of seven, and the other one much younger. Okay, I don't need to go into any of that or name them, right? But I met them, sincere guys, and I literally... What I was told from one of them horrified the fuck out of me. Horrified the fuck out of me. Okay, so we know there's a system underneath the system running things, and you can call it Masonic. Masonic is a term, an esoteric term, right? It's not to be frightened of, it's just the way things are under the surface of things. And you're gonna have to get over the, the, the fear of some of this wording I'm using because if you don't, then you're not gonna work through the next few years very well. You need to kind of begin to have to understand it. So anyway, what I'm saying today has nothing to do with any of that, really, because this morning was okay. I had a good morning. Then I brought these two guys up to the up to Ronnie Meat Eco and I went to the centre and what's happened is that someone has got victimized. Someone who's been here a short while has got victimized because there's a certain element within the camp that doesn't live by the ethos that the person came in with. So, in a manner that I completely and utterly disagree with, because it's um, secret and not known, generally speaking, it's done because certain people get together and organize it, or the method by which it happens, which is quite well hidden. But, when you add the points up, and this is what you're going to have to start doing as well, you know, I was trying to myself earlier and I was thinking, you know, what? What is it that you, that would help you understand? And one of them simply dots, right? Dots. Because, first of all, you've got to get over this word cult. And you've got to get well over this word mason. And you've got to get over this word, the wording that frightens you. Because you won't get anywhere until you actually look at it. And see what's going on, right? So let's just take someone who's gone into you know the world of esoteric knowledge and started looking at the deeper secrets of life, the, the realities which they haven't come to before, and they discover something and they go, oh, 
Is that true? And they're going to think, well, that would be fucking ridiculous. But nevertheless, it made you think. So you can place that a dot on that. It means nothing, right? A dot on its own means absolutely nothing. That was a dot of information, which either, you know, you carry on studying to find out if there's any other dots dotted. And all a dot is, is you come into something which could be. By itself, it means nothing. So you come to something else, which suddenly, now you can join two dots together because they're saying the same thing, but they're coming from two different sources. One was reference, and the other one is reference too. But this, now they're together because they've got archetypal things within them that mean that they're coming from the same source. Now you've got two reference points, which is starting to be a science because it's saying, this makes sense with this. And if that's true, then we need to do a bit more research to make sure we're onto the right path. And so, you know, for those, and there are many, don't go any further because it's too dark, right? They don't want to know, and they turn off completely. Many people do this. And for whatever reason, you know, come the day you know something's wrong. Come the day you know something has changed, and you can see it because it makes sense because you're going to get explained everything. And come the day, come the day, come the day it makes sense. And you're going to kind of suddenly find yourself having to move, go in a direction that you knew you might have hit upon, but you didn't want to know. But you're okay because it was too much. And you suddenly make that move because it makes sense too. Those, there's plenty of those people. And you will have to move because if you don't move, you're going to get lost in it all. There's plenty of people who are on the wrong path right now. They're on the wrong path. They're actually making the wrong decisions. And those people will know they are making the wrong decisions because it'll be clear. And they'll know why, because it can be explained. And they will come forward and explain it, or they will fall. It's the turnaround. It's the turnaround when we stop hiding everything behind everybody's back. And we say what we're doing on the surface. And actually, on the surface of things, there has to be some kind of truth. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So, the best way you can get to a kind of truth on the surface is to start talking. Making sense. That's all it is. It's a conversation. And you have to do it with people. With those you're living with. You have to start making sense. Because everything you, you live in is nonsense. So, you have to start finding the sense. And finding the sense is about talking about it and what you want and what you understand. And everybody's going to have to do this because everybody is living a nonsense, including here, right on the hill, where, ironically, we are still living a nonsense even while we're fighting for something different on the surface. And that's because under the surface of everything there's a law and there's a club and it's mostly men. And they're in a club. And they're making sure nothing changes. And they don't even know they're involved in it. But that's what they're doing. And they will know what's been happening. They kind of support each other. And I'm standing up for something else. And the problem with everybody's got is they can, you know, deal with me in two ways. Because I'm standing up against things and people here. And I'm just declaring it. And, you know, some people will get to this video sometime and they'll realise that I always set it up well. But I'm doing that now. I'm declaring opposition to elements here. And in time I'm going to name it. And they're going to come forward and talk about it. Now, we can resolve these things much quicker than that. But unless people wake up, it's not going to be resolved. So instead it's a war between me, because I'm standing up and I haven't got any support as far as I know. Apart from people, some people who I know watch my videos. And... You know, all it matters to me is that I know some people that matter that watch what I'm saying. And I just know people who know what I'm talking about and who I am and what I represent here. Yeah. And that's all that matters. So the normal route out for people who've got problems with someone is silence, number one, or death, number two. If they can silence, that's easier because that means silence, you know, the same thing. That's common, you know, that's a common 
you know, if you were stuck in it from a very young age, you know, you know about that one. Because you're not going to get into trouble. Because you've already been there. And that's what happens. Silence, because if you don't start saying too much, you're in trouble. Because you remember stuff from an early age, which has fucked your life up. And you know it. And you know you've been held in some kind of, like, perpetual prison that you can't get out. Most people know that. And, uh, that's, that's the way that it's dealt with. The problems. You know it's dealt with, it, no matter And that's what's happening on the hill. The problems. People got problems. And, uh, so, that's two, the two main ways. There's another way, though, and it's like, actually, the other way is to start, start waking up. Because actually the message that should be coming out of these words is something that's very beautiful. And it's about recognising that everybody is completely unique and they all have the say and everything. And that's what we should be offering to truly sovereign rights of everybody. And if that doesn't come out, then someone who's not getting that. And they know it. Everybody knows they're not getting that. So you mean? I've been here three years. Now, I can only stand up and say it and talk like this because I've been here for three years, right from the word. In fact, I've been here on a daily basis longer than anyone. Now, you might say that doesn't count for very much, but I'm sure you, at my age, it counts for a lot because by the time you get to my age, you start looking at life slightly differently than you did before. And I've got a very photographic memory for everything that's happened here right from the very beginning to now. And I haven't said too much, but I can. And I've got a reason, and I've got the story, and I've got the characters, I know who they all are, everyone. And I can put it together very easily, it's not hard. And instead of getting any publicity at all, you know, there's an elder on the hill who's nearly 60 this year, instead of getting any you know, someone coming and say, hey, BBC, I wouldn't they'd like your story. I don't get that at all. I get a kind of like, quirky little silence when the BBC or ITV me turn up. And people take control. I've talked about this before. You know, at the moment they're kind of, that's an undeclared silence. It's coming in from every other source there is in running me let silence. But I'm coming to the war now. So they tell me, let me tell you I'm at war. Until such a point as we have. And this is where it could change everything. A uh, proper conversation. And that's all it takes. Because once you have the conversation going, then you can start to make sense. And that proper conversation comes with transparency. And it's about being able to do it in front of a camera. And not hiding. Especially if you kind of feel you have an importance. And if you take a leadership role, then you've got no choice but to agree. If you stay in that role, to transparency. Because that's what we represent. We know that. We haven't changed the surface ruling this place from the beginning. No one's done that. So it's still true that we are the anarchists on the hill, every one of us, and everybody stands up for their own rights, including me. And now it's time, because, you know, over a long period of time I've seen things happen, and now I'm getting best off. Unfortunately, it's just the time we're going to get more, more possibilities, so I'm not going to help people here much, because we really don't give two shits anymore after the way people have been treated by people who claim We're living on the hill. Come out. The sun ink, the soul control, everything. Even the inner workings of Ronnie Meath are controlled. And you know, I'm afraid you have to deal with someone because I'm on a hill. I am the man on the hill. Okay.